I'm Mary Summerlin. I'm Allie Mackey. Today is the blood drive at Fernandina Beach High School. Our, the CNA class, which we're in, is in charge of it. Certified nursing assistant. We do this every single year, not us specifically, but the CNA class does at least two a year. We did one in September, but Mary and I were not in charge. We are in charge of this one. This year's a little bit different, or at least this time's a little bit different. We have um, the entire blood drive going on inside the building. We have like 18 people waiting right it's now. really busy. <laughs> but that's good though, that means a lot of people want to donate. Hopefully we can get the ball rolling coming here. Students that are coming in to donate blood, do they understand the importance of donating blood or are they really just trying to get out of class? I think it's honestly half and half, <laughs> but for the people who do understand it, like I had someone who's actually had a blood transfusion when they were little kids, so they said that um, they would like to do it and give it back because he's had it for him. So. I think it's like one pint can save up to like three people. Um, in general, it just kind of benefits. It's a little time out of your day to save a life. I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just it's a good thing to have. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Paige. I'm Sharon Belcher. I'm a nurse practitioner and I am the program director for the Certified Nursing Assistant Program at Fernandina Beach High School. Um, we have a very unique program in that it is a certified nursing assistant school certified through the Florida State Board of Nursing. The first four months we basically do didactic, meaning we're in a classroom with lecture, we do medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, some of the soft skills, things like um, communication, um, paper writing, how to write a resume, how to work as a team. And then the second half of the year, the students go to Baptist Medical Center Nassau, they go to Quality Health, they um, go to Amelia Internal Medicine, Amelia Urgent Care, Dr. Anderson, Amelia Foot and Ankle. They go to Ms. Feblis, who takes care of the ESC program here at our school, and um, they do fire rescue. This is the first year they're doing ride-alongs with Fernandina Beach Fire Rescue, which is wonderful. And they get to experience all the areas, or almost all the areas, of um, health care, so it helps them decide, number one, if they want to do this, and number two, what area they would like to further their education in. Um, they also learn all the skills for a certified nursing assistant, which is bed baths, making a bed, taking care of catheters, um, how to change gowns with the patient with an IV, how to feed a patient, how to care for geriatric patients. In the state of Florida, a nursing home must have CNAs to receive Medicaid or Medicare money. And so nowhere in the state of Florida can a nursing home hire anybody but a certified nursing assistant. When they're done with my program, and in this case it's going to be May 3rd, the state will send the evaluators here and they will have their test here. It's a skills test. They actually have to do three skills in front of an evaluator and then take a computerized test of 60 questions and they will find out that day if they pass and when, when they do pass, and last year we had a 100% pass rate, um, they will get their certified nursing assistant pen. The county pays for all of this. It's a $185 exam and um, Nassau County School Board pays this for our students so they are job ready when they leave here um, at graduation. And um, I've had students in the past who come back and help me with classes and help with check-off skills, and we're still doing that actually on Fridays. So um, it's a wonderful program, and if you're, at, if anybody's thinking of going into the medical field, this is a great way to get your feet wet and see if this is really what you want to do. What's the best part of people coming and donating blood here at the school? Getting, it, getting to know everybody, probably. What's the worst part? Some random guy at the office street that said he wanted to donate came in and he ended up like throwing up all over our pillow. I'm like, cool, thanks. So you really just came in for the free juice? Probably. <laughs> Are you going to do another one in the spring? Meh, probably not. <laughs>